Hello everyone, JG Medium here, and today we are in Tatman. We came all the way from Shenzhen just to visit this small island. We're gonna take the 12.30 boat to Tatman. When I was living in Hong Kong, this was definitely my favorite outlying island. Tatman, also known as Grass Island, is a short one hour boat ride away from Malio Shui Pier near CUHK. This was once an island with over 2,000 residents. Now, less than 100 mainly elderly people live here. The streets and homes all look very empty. Just next to the village is the 400-year-old Tin Hao Temple. Once every decade, the Tin Hao Festival will be held here to celebrate the village heritage, the most recent one being held in 2019. Like the name suggests, this island is famous for its beautiful grassy hills, which is a short 15-minute hike away from the fishing village. On the way, we saw the second most famous thing in Tatman, cows. Once we reached the hilltop pavilion, we followed the hillside path around the southern part of the island. Here is where Tatman truly shines, and you'll see why this is my favorite island in Hong Kong. I just love that we can walk on these beautiful hills without too many tourists or getting exhausted. It's really just a relaxing hike surrounded by all this tranquil green and blue. If you get tired, there are many benches where you can sit and enjoy the stunning view. Okay, story time. The last time we came to Tatman was in 2019. This island will always be special for Rika and I because we can consider it the place where we had our first date. So this little getaway was a trip down memory lane. Obviously, spending this time with each other does make this experience better, but the sheer beauty of the landscape definitely elevates this romantic feeling. After a short hike on the flat hilltop, we started going down the hill again. Here, we can walk right next to the sea. The sound of the waves crashing on the rocks can just be so soothing. Unfortunately, since it's summer, the days are longer and the last boat back to Malio Shui leaves before sunset. But even so, the sun glitter on the waves still creates a magical scene. The islands of Hong Kong are a relaxing counterpart to the bustling city. But even after visiting many of them a second or third time, I still think Tat Mun is at the top of my list. With the easy scenic trails on one side and the rustic small fishing village on the other, Tat Mun is the perfect afternoon getaway. We boarded the 5.30 boat back to Malio Shui. I didn't want to leave.
but the trip is not over yet because as we sailed back, it was just in time to see the golden sunset. Jage Medium here and thanks for watching. See you next time.